Hey, what's up, good people? How you doing? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. Hey, if you're new to the page, hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell on your lower right-hand corner. And if you've been rolling with me for a while, you know, already hit that like button. This is the page known as Stock Up. Stock Up. I almost said Stock Up You. Speaking of Stock Up You, make sure that you come and join the family and learn how to earn from uh, those of us that are interested in you learning more about the stock market, myself, Stocks with Josh, uh, Keenan Grace, Mommy Trader, and even Curry in there, all right? Let's get right to it. That's gonna be the top link below, and just remember this: the other two links if you need a trading platform. All right, let's get right into it. I got stuff scattered all over the desk, all over the desk, all right? So I'm just gonna give it to you like um, as in any kind of order. All right, now, I'm going to start by talking about the overall market before I get to the plays. OK, so first of all, we have to know that generally um, this month is matter of fact, let me show you exactly. I had it pulled up here. I want you guys to see this. All right. On average, August has been the worst performing month for stocks since 1986. See that family? Put that on your radar. August has been the worst performing uh, month, all right? According to your Morningstar, you see here? And this August may be choppier than usual because of its particular busy uh, for late summer. Now, Steve Lees, not Steve Leesman, there's a gentleman on CNBC that is an absolute perma bull, perma bull, right? He is, he is bullish when the market is tanking. He's bullish when the market is up. He's a perma bull. But this time he brings, and he's been right this year, he brings a really good point. When these analysts start to raise their, their, their targets, like through the roof, every single day, there is another price target range from a raise from these analysts, including JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley. We got... Uh, uh, um, uh, Guppenheimer also, they raised, remember, they raised Alphabet, a.k.a. Google, from their target price of 120 to 150. As a matter of fact, that's not all they raised. There was a raise on Meta. There was a raise on Google. There was a raise on uh, Adobe. That was just in uh, the last week. And there was there were probably five to seven different raises uh, you know, where they expect the target price to hit on these stocks for these companies, right? So now uh, I know that there's money to be made by doing that. What I do is I just do a call option the day that they do these raises, the day that the analysts raise. What I always do, here's a hint. I always listen to where they say it's going. I do a call option to that day. I leave myself a minimum of a week. And then I'm out within 24 to 48 hours, regardless of what the market is doing. It's, it's kind of easy money. All right. For me. All right. Now you got to do your own due diligence. Now, what we're going to do is just listen to this clip and then we'll get to more stuff in a minute. Conversation with Fundstrat co-founder and head of research, Tom Lee. Tom, great to have you with us. You're, you're also in the camp that August could be tricky. Yes. Yeah. I think August is tricky because, uh, as Bob mentioned, people are on vacation. So it's more vulnerable to sort of shocks. And I think we're in a period where we're gonna be nervous about good news. We don't want a good jobs report or we don't want strong PMIs because that brings September hike back on the table along with the tenure where it is. Uh, I think it's very possible we could have a pretty painful drawdown in the first half. You've been bullish when others have not been. Yes. Through the first half of the year. Um, and now that you see strategists sort of bumping up their price targets for year end, Bob was talking about the extreme bullishness now. Does that make you just worry? Yeah, I think it's a, <laughs> I think it's a bad sign. Yeah. I think um, we know the strategists tend to reflect the buy side and all these price target hikes are chases of a market that's already extended. And then we have August, which is seasonally kind of bumpy and and I am kind of worried that we're going to get some good jobs data, like strong job numbers. People are going to start thinking September and higher rates. Oil's already rising. It, it feels like it could be pretty messy. 
So how do you see the path of the markets going into the fall? The fall is tri- traditionally, seasonally a difficult period, particularly September, October. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. All these things I mentioned are just tactical because mm-hmm. I, I think the second half is going to be really strong. Um, but to me, it's a broadening of the market. You know, it's more about the industrials uh, really responding to the PMI's bottoming and its energy reflecting this, the rise in oil. And so I think it's it's a broader market. But we we could still finish, you know, over 4,800, well oh. above it on the S&P. You heard that we could still uh, finish uh, over 4,800. That's that's pretty good. All right. That's pretty good. Over 4,800 won't be bad. All right. Or, um, so he's talking about, uh, of course, the S&P. All right. Why does Tom Lee always look like he's been drinking while riding a roller coaster with his head? Anyway, but anyway, I'm going to leave that alone. That's my dude. I like Tom Lee. All right. So <laughs> let's look at um <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at it. See, so now where's the Dow right now? I mean, the S&P right now, 45. He's saying that we could end at 4,800, but this month can be a cool off, right? So because of that, I am not entering into as many positions as I have been. Yes, I will still make money, uh, but I'm not going to enter in as many positions as I have been. All right, let's keep going. So, you know, govern yourselves accordingly. All right. So let's look at what's going on. As we can see, SoFi is uh, selling off today. Uh, Now, this could be short lived. So be careful. I did enter into uh, a SoFi call option. Like I said, I'm not trying to break the bank. I entered into a SoFi uh, call option and I also uh, entered into a Palantir call option. Let's see if if we could break through this because actually SoFi still has uh, a bullish sign behind it. Okay. So it looks like this still has some momentum going and it should push back up. But market, remember, if the entire market tanks, then it's going to take, even if something has positive momentum or it looks like it has the volume and it's going up, if the entire market tanks, it can bring it down, right? So we're expecting a little pullback, but we're gonna, we, no one knows when, but this is generally the month as I showed you in this report. Just remember this, okay? August, worse, right? All right, so I just want you guys to be prepared, okay? So um, this morning, I had people put this on their radar. I want you to research what this company is, is semiconductors, kind of right there in the in the name. And I want you to see that it's up by 55 percent. I mentioned it on this morning's live. All right. And you guys know what I'm looking to do. Right. Uh, I'm looking to uh, I believe they have a I believe they have a earnings coming up. Let's look. You guys know what I'm looking to do. We wear short shorts. Because that's what I'm looking to do. AMSC. SC. Uh, yes, their earnings is the, the earnings report is August 9th. August 9th. They have earnings coming. Now, it could run up to uh, earnings. OK, just take a look here. So be careful. It could run up to earnings. Right. As you could see, August 9th. That is uh, the earnings. All right on this company but it ran up a whole lot right so at some point it could they could knock the ball out of the park and it could keep going and if you short it prematurely you could get burned all right so you got to do your own due diligence i'm just pointing some stuff out now you guys also know that this is the one i'm really looking to short and this is tupperware brands ticker symbol t-u-p tup because it's just <laughs> this is a ghost company. This company is barely worth um, 200 million, right? This company is barely worth 200 million dollars. For those of you that don't know, that's an extremely, extremely, extremely small company for a publicly traded company. That is small. Those numbers are puny. Okay, 200 million is puny for a publicly traded company. So. I'm looking to enter into a short position. 
I'm going to say it again because I know what's going to happen. I'm looking to enter into a short position win today. Now, here's the danger in that. So I just want you guys to know it's dangerous because if this thing does short squeeze, if you do a put option on this, you're going to get wiped out. So you have to learn how to leverage, right? Learn how to leverage it. You can buy the stock and short the stock at the same time. You could just buy the stock outright, right? And then the, uh, with the equal amount of money that you put into the stock, you can also short the stock, right? And that way you could kind of uh, buy a little insurance that you don't get wiped out follow and if you don't know how to do options please don't try it make sure you take take the class and at least get an introductory into options okay and make sure you take the charting class first the charting lesson first and then go into what are options all right so uh let's keep it going let's keep it going there is uh also to ripple right let's just talk about ripple right quick let's just show you guys this Here's what's happening with uh, crypto ripple ruling in crypto. Uh, I'm sorry, ripple ruling on crypto rejected by federal judge in Terra case. All right. And so that is affecting and they're saying that it could affect. You can read underneath there. See here. Judge rejects ripple uh, ripple <laughs> ripple ruling distinction held by crypto fans. Right. And then another bullet point here. Decision against muddles. Uh, I'm sorry, decision again, muddles regulatory outlook for digital assets, meaning all digital assets. It kind of muddies the water. Right. And as you could see that uh, the um, crypto at large is just been flat anyway. And as you can see, Ripple is down uh, because of this bad news. And I'm going to ask you guys this and I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you to buy any. I'm asking you this. Since Shiba Inu is so far down, who's buying a little bit that is so beat down? Uh, if you plan on getting into Shiba Inu, this is not about Shiba Inu. And I'm not putting any big money in Shiba Inu. I did that. You guys know the story. Made enough to pay my house off. You guys know that, right? But in this cycle, what is so beat down, who's thinking about, just remember, small cap stock, small money. Big cap stock, big money. Who's looking to get a little bit while it's beat down? I just want to ask that now because I'm going to come back to this if it runs up. OK, so I'm going to leave it right there. Good people. Uh, I don't want to ramble on. Make sure you check out the links below. Um, tell me what you think about these two companies. Uh, should they be shorted? Should we attempt to short uh, this company right here, American Superconductor Corporation, and should we short Tupperware brands? I know that I am. Win or lose, I am. Because Tupperware brands is just like GME, AMC, Carvana, all of these potential short squeezes. What goes up must come down. Now, there's going to be a lot of people, unfortunately, that's going to buy Tupperware brands right here at the top. And if you look at this over the last month, Tupperware brand is up 573%. Look at that. Let's look at year to date. Only 35%, but in the last month, 570%. The problem is is that somebody is going to load up at five dollars and fifty cents and i expect gravity to eventually call it right i may be wrong on my timing but i'm expecting it so i'm you guys know if i do a put option it's going to i'm gonna leave myself a little time i'm not gonna do a, a close expiration date all right you guys leave me a comment on what you think okay make sure you check out the links below and we will see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Live, love, laugh, learn, and earn. Peace.